Elijah Adkins from the seventh grade, Ben Spomer, Felicity, Riley, thank you, um, and uh, Miss Boyd, above all else, and Miss Peterson as well. Because we're busy all week, it's going to be quite a week. Ari and Riley, are y'all hanging in there? How do you feel like this week's going to go? Are you scared? You don't want to have pizza every night. Well, Saturday, since Saturday was pasta, I'm like, maybe they'll switch it up. Because pizza every night, that would just mean that we're all like, we'd be like funkier on Friday than we had pizza every night. Like, after that. You know, not like that, but I mean like if you have a lot of snack food, you, you, you get snack food brain. Riley? Okay, yeah, right? So hopefully. So why is it so we had pasta and Ooh, celery and carrots on Saturday night. And, and cookie, yeah, a lot of cookies. <laughs> After school with your family. Oh, that does sound, yeah, I wouldn't like to do that with any of my friends' family when I was in school. Yeah, no, you'll be cool. They're probably very nice. All right, thanks, guys. I hit record. I don't know why this slide is up. Is this the first one? Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Let's do it. If we move quickly, then the whole day doesn't have to be Latin or something. Um, I'll play, I'll play, what's the name of the Neon Genesis theme? Um, anyway. Yeah. The, the name of that song is actually really sweet. I can't think of it. But guys, this one was weird. It's combining our perfect passive verbs, our new perfect passive verbs, which remember, Y'all probably just barely have a handle on present, imperfect, and future past. But remember, Katie, those look like the endings are always to or more, me, and sure. And they're, when it's present, imperfect, or future tense passive, that is just a form of the verb. It's like it, the verb will have an ending that will communicate those past. Where if it's perfect, blue perfect, or future perfect passive, it's going to be in two different words that are working in tandem. The, the first word, usually, it doesn't have to be just going to the last, but it might just most often is. That's the fourth principal part of a verb. The, the fourth principal part of that we would translate as just like verb. And then it'll be next to a form of soon as such. And they're both kind of communicating different things. The fourth principal part will have an ending that will be created based on the gender of its subject. Whereas the verb, the soon as a part of it, will have an ending that will communicate the person number in tits of the thing it's going with. So, VD, I know, but I'm just like kind of recapping because I'm recording at this time actually. But VD would be who saw? Anybody be who came, saw, uh, came, conquered, and saw? Yeah, it's very person singular, right? It's from video, but it's not I see present tense. It's I saw, third principal part. It's first person singular, perfect tense. So I never saw, and I guess we must go up here for our direct object, synonym. Okay, that's much easier to do when I've underlined the relative clause for us already. But that relative clause, you know, even without the commas, it's starting with the quick by clause, and it's going to go until we hit our verb, which in this case is the verb part of the perfect passive verb. But anyway, I never saw the old man, or like, but I never saw the old man because at is in front. And then Cuius, how do we take Cuius, anyone? Who's, because it's possessive genitive, um, whose family, Servata, had been protected. You know, right? If this was on a test, I would underline Savata Erot, okay, which you would tell me the tense of that is pluperfect and the voice is passive. Why is it pluperfect passive instead of being perfect passive? Hmm? For fun. It's because the, its version of Sumessa is a past tense version. Um, where if it was just perfect passive, it'd be Servata est. I know you guys know what est is. It's just like is, right? He or she, it is. And his past tense version is erot. That's more like was or was being. Um, so when we're using the imperfect version of est in conjunction with a fourth principal part, that is what makes it pluperfect past. Okay. Um, and the way I remember that is like, there's this kind of relation between imperfect things and pluperfect things as well as between future things and future perfect things. It kind of makes sense, right? Like, imperfect is the past tense of what I might call the present system, whereas blue perfect is like the furthest back in time past tense of the perfect system. It's always past tense. Okay, so this is blue perfect. The voice is passive. So had, had is basically the important thing that we're supposed to observe here. Had been 
protected. All right, Akiwe Queen. That seems confusing. Where's my subject, guys? Let's let's hunt for those nominatives because this sentence is structurally insane. Does anybody like the Alien movies? I do. I like the first one. I like. I realize I like all six of them. You know, not, they're not all as good like as AVP. No, nah, maybe not AVP. Maybe not. But I, pretty, well, their fights were pretty cool. Well, see, I haven't rewatched AVP in a long time. I'm like, if I put that on, could I take it seriously enough to sort of get into it? Because I just want to see aliens bursting out of people's chests. I want to see like a disgusting queen yeah, alien. Right. Um, yeah, it's fun. All alien movies are the same. The first one, or I like the first one. Oh, is that Covenant or Prometheus? Uh, that one. Uh, the Predator movie is not Predator. It's, uh, I mean, it's not Alien. It's Predator. Oh, okay. I don't do like, any Predator. There was Predator. like a 2010 remake one, and it was like they got sent to this planet, and like this planet was a hunting planet, and they were sent down this dog thing. thing. That sounds kind of cool. AVP is like the the popcorn version of an Alien movie, but an Alien and Aliens. I like the Alien Covenant. The free, the free version two you've seen more. Oh, right. Like that. Prometheus into Covenant. Oh, yeah, there are, like, weird... I don't like the way that... It, the aliens look a little cheap in Covenant, honestly. But, guys, you want to see a really disgusting space horror movie. Check out the alien movies. All right, guys, where are my subjects? I like Resident Evil. She's cool. Yeah, right? She's, like, a great lead. And it was, like, in the 70s, and no one was making a big deal out of the fact that it was, like, this great female lead. Um, what are the subjects here? Anyone? Does anything look nominative -y? Like, in the middle of it. Huh? Pax et Libertas. That looks like it could be compound nominative there. And they are. Um, and what does that mean? Pax et Libertas. It's something Americans claim to care a lot about. And liberty and... No, Eos is justice. Huh? Yeah, peace. Peace and liberty. Okay, how do I know they're nominative when I had like 20,000 words before them? Um... With all these third dimension nouns that end in X, they only end in X in their subject form. So that's one indicator to me. And Libertas, that's just like, a, again, it's a vocab thing. I know Libertas happens to be the nominative of the word. That means liberty. But peace and liberty, let's come back to all this. Who knows what's going on up here? I think it's like an extended relative clause. But peace and liberty, laudati sunt. So Caden, Landon, or Rylan, it's not like peace and liberty. It feels laudant. If I added a little in there, I would agree in person. And number, it'd be peace and liberty, praise, but it's not active, it's passive, and it's perfect passive. So you need for the, the praising to happen to the peace and liberty in, a, in the past. And so Nathan can help too. Peace and liberty, praise. But so praise is the right way to take praise, but you need a helping verb between peace and liberty and praised. Peace and liberty, blank praised. No, that's active, because then it's like praising something, like a direct object. Were praised, okay, or have been praised. Do I do the active first? Please do that. Yes. Um. So has been praised or somebody? Oh, see, this is. It only be was if it. Well, I guess I'll change that on the slide. Um. If it was just peace or liberty, but if it's two of them, it needs were because that's what we use for a plural kind of subject. So yeah, first round said praise, but if you said peace, liberty, praise. That would still be active, right? Like what would follow would be a direct object, like peace and liberty, praise. The direct object. But when we do like the verb form plus a helping verb, that's when we can achieve this passive voice. Now the phrasing is happening to the peace and the liberty and using has been or were are our options because it's perfect passive. So it's basically the same as if it was just imperfect passive. It would be like loud out bond word. All right. But it would never be like loud out bond or loud aunt because that's active. That'd be praise or praised. This is was praised or were praised. Okay, so and I, I've given away the relative clause. It went from the quick quiet clause that we have up until a verb, which in this case, it's perfect passive. It's one of those verbs that's in two parts. The new thing, this chapter, this last chapter, this guy, guys. Um, but now I kind of know what's going on here. So they were praised, Akiwe? Huh? Yeah, by the citizen. Yeah, Brandy knows that ah uh, or ob in a sentence with active verbs is like more like from. But when it's with a passive verb, it'll be by. And that ablative will tell you who's actually doing the verbing. Since the verbing is happening to the subject, the subject isn't doing the verbing, the ablative is explaining what's doing the verb. So peace and liberty has been praised by the citizen, who or which. Who's a little better, because uh, citizen's a who. It's going to obviously be referred to the citizen. And now we kind of understand why the structure is so weird. It's because, like, 
It's like the sentence for a Roman would be like, by the citizen who blah, 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 peace and liberty were praised. And like, that makes sense, but it wouldn't be the natural way that an English speaker would structure his first thought. But anyway, by the citizen who, Mises erat is from mito, mitra misi, to send. And I already said it's perfect passive, but I guess by that I mean it could be perfect passive, blue perfect passive, or future perfect passive. So what is it here when it's erat, not est, not erit? You said had someone? You did. You said had. Yeah, because once again, just like our first one, it's plu perfect passive. So had been sent, okay, because the verb actually needs to send, Mitchell Mitra, uh, to Greece. So I guess they're giving us plu perfect passive. Future perfect, super rare, but that'd be Mises erit. Future tense likes the vowel I for some reason. And these are up here, guys. I know this is kind of small, but I actually make these pretty big. My perfect passive, it's for a principle part plus sum s, s, sum as s is sum, which those words by themselves, assume I am, s you are, etc. And the blue perfect passive is the for a principle part plus eram, eras, eram, which are, you know, I was, you were, it was, how we started in this context. But in this context, they're just part of, they're part of a bigger thing. All right, if I asked about this one, similarly to the one, the first one I talked about, it's tense is plu perfect. It's voice is passive. Spoiler though, guys, if I'm asking about voice, the answer will be passive, not active. If I was really tricky, I would go out of my way to find an active verb and be like, what's the voice? And you would think, like, oh, since he's asking that, it must be passive. But no, um, this whole time our verbs have had a voice, meaning they've all been active verbs up until chapter 18. It's just like we didn't need to talk about it because why would you talk about the active voice uh, until you talk about the passive voice, if that makes sense? Riley? Clue perfect tense, passive voice. I will probably not ask person and number. Technically, they have person and number. You even have gender. In this case, well, I'll leave my dati is feminine because I happen to know the words peace and liberty are feminine in Latin. And you can kind of see that with the fact that it's a, e, like feminine. And it's third plural because it needs like a, it's a they subject, peace and liberty. But I won't ask about person and number. But just for the record, you actually do get case number and gender from the fourth principle parts ending and person number and tense. From the sum s parts ending. Alright, so roll, let's check Robin Hood. Uh, what? Uh, it's like my original 500 coins I got so cheap, and then I freaked out on Sunday morning and I sold it. I haven't actually lost yet. Okay, oh, it's kind of, okay, really, it's like fully crashed. This is good. It's lower than it even was during the SNL dip. This is great. No, it's good though. It needs to go all the way down and then everyone will be like, oh, it's so cheap. And then the market's gonna get flooded and it's just gonna, it'll be $10 per day. Sell it $1, $2, sell it $1, $2, sell it Right. And in fact, I should like stop looking at it until I see news reports about like, Doge is up to a dollar. And then I should get back on the app. And then sell out. You don't have to wait till like, never ever have to get. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, and there's a more reliable crypto right now, Ethereum, and so I want to make a good profit off of uh, of Doge and then get the heck out of uh, Doge and get, put all myself in Ethereum. I'm not rich enough to afford Bit because I was a dummy and I didn't buy Bit in college. Um, Bro, you'd be but, so you know, rich right now if you bought Bit. You wouldn't even be teaching. You would be like some scholar. Like well, like I would teach, but it would be like totally for fun. Like it would be like I, it's like yo, I could leave any second because like, yeah, I, I could like go golf. Because, um, yeah, what was it? Like, when I was in college, it was still a joke. And it was, like, it wasn't a dollar, but it was, like, less than 100 And now it's 60000 So you could have, like, turned $100 into 60000 or, like, 500 into, like, 300000 Wait, wait, wait. Which stock are we talking about? That was Bitcoin. That was the first crypto. But now there's, like, you know, there's, like, a thousand crypto. It's not even, like, I thought maybe it was, like, five or six different cryptos. No. There's, like, a hundred. There's, like, a new one every day. Um, anyway, it really, it's so much like gambling though. I feel like, like real stocks are kind of their own thing, but crypto, it's just gambling. We just need to admit that to ourselves. And, um, yeah. All right. Blue perfect. Passive. Oh, we have an ablative of agent. Okay. That's how Brandy translated actually by the citizen. And then citizen gets its own relative clause. It's the antecedent of qui there. But yeah. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. So just to be clear, Laudate Sunt is perfect passive because Sunt is like the present tense. There, it's like the plural version of S. Where it means to say Ra is the perfect passive. I hope that's, I hope you understand that a little bit. 
I'm not gonna sell. I'm not gonna sell. Everyone on the, the like the crypto for Reddit, they're just like, keep holding, keep holding to the moon. But then some people are like, guys, I'm getting really concerned. I'm really considering selling on a loss here. And then other people are like blindly optimistic, and they're just like repeating memes and stuff. Just so, like, hang on. It might get out of orbit, but I'm not going. Good. This was my last day check. I have to hang on. Well, yeah. Some people, the way they talk about it, it's like their actual spending money is on like. No, like you should just put extra money. That's just like, yeah, it's gambling. Basically. It's gambling. It really, I sold my house that's what I'm realizing. Doge. <laughs> yeah, like I took out a second mortgage <laughs> for Doge. Um, but then, I don't know. Elon like announced he was like SpaceX is gonna like pay for things with Doge, and I was like, that's surely gonna make it spike. But anyway, I don't think it's a All right, we, we have to do a stock market class for like tenth or eleventh or twelfth graders, maybe. I really think it makes. Um, what Octori? What Octori? What's Octori mean? Yeah, what? Oh, oh, but it's Octori's third declension. So, in the third declension, what case is a long eye in? If we're looking at the orange, it's dative. So it's like. So what preposition can we assume right off the bat? It's one of two things. What are the two? Remember that day we kept seeing datives over and over again? And to be clear, I'm not actually sure, but I'm assuming it's going to be the more common one. Second. Not P sign. Huh? Two. Okay, so two to which author? Dicum S. So Dico Dicara is to speak. So Nathan Aiden O'Reilly. It's not to which author is speaking, is actively uh, speaking. We probably need a direct author. To which author? Well, how would you have to translate Dicum S in a vacuum? Anyone? Not he or she speaks, but he or she. But give me some uh, past tense helping verb. So. Was not speaking. That's active. Was spoken to. So something about like an author being spoken to. But I feel like you need to keep reading it. And then Kui is the dative relative pronoun. Y'all uh, chill out back there. Um, to whom this benefit has been given. So um, what has been said to the author? Okay. I made the mistake of thinking quid was going with Octori here. This is what we call an interrogative pronoun. It's a more open-ended question. I guess if it was going with Octori, that was kind of dumb of me to think that. That would have been cooey. Okay, so it's just what has been said or spoken. Uh, what has been said to the author? Or what has been spoken to the author? Does that make sense? It sounds kind of weird. Though. But what has been spoken to the What has been said to the author? Let's say said. Has been said to the author to whom, because this guy's dated, that's what Quinn would have needed to be if it was which author. That was a mistake. I was sorry. What has been spoken or what has been said to the author to whom those benefits dot suit? You're going to take it in the same way. Dot suit is from Dodare. So if dictum est was has been spoken to, then dot suit is has been given. So this one's kind of crazy actually. But to whom those benefits have been given. It's weird. We got double. We got double indirect objects going on, and I don't like it one bit. Beneficia data is a direct object. Just to just, I just want to say that it's from beneficium, which is a neuter. So remember, those neuters are nasty because they're plural accusative <laughs> direct object forms. Uh, end in a, not nominative singular forms. Rylan, uh, Landon, do you have anything to share with the class, or is that a private conversation, and I should see my way out? <laughs> Okay, so if you look up anime statues on the internet, guys, both shows up. Why? why <laughs> I don't know why. I, well, I wonder what, how that happened. Deadpool like took on this weird uh, demographic with his movies. I think it's just like a certain kind of person thinks Ryan Reynolds is really funny or something. Ryan Reynolds is good. Who's your favorite cool. anime character? Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, indirect objects. Um, I've talked about Misato is the best character in Neon you know, Genesis. Well, Shinji, did you huh? find me? I mean, I do actually like Shinji. Like, I, 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 there's something about his character that, like, uh, okay. I, 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 
he's not just he's not like a brash shonen type right yeah like who's out here really like he's crazy yeah he's like crazy he's like hyper depressed he's the polar opposite of like a naruto or or goku or it is like i'm loud and i'm hungry and that's kind of my whole thing <laughs> you're not wrong bro. um that's like a shonen main character oh, no, 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 no. and then they have like a mean rival oh, no, no. friend that's weird well good for you honestly like liking shonen like it's cool if you do like a certain shonen hero or no hunter hunter is a interesting shonen kind of but i can't watch shonen anymore i tried i can't it's not as good as music no, so yeah. Like, isekai is taking over the entire genre. Yeah. So, like, you don't have Isekai and it's not an anime. Which, some Isekai is okay. Like, I'm not okay with it. Like, some, they have some really good ones. And then they're just totally trash. I like those, like, cyberpunk Isekais, but not Sword Art Online. But when I was a kid, trash. it is, like, fully trash, but that premise can be good. It can, but they ruined it. Yeah, but it's apparently it's going to remake the first, like, season over again. I don't believe it's going to be good at all. Because it was so bad. Yeah, yeah. I hated it. No, I was in college when I was like, oh, like, what's this sort of, like, I, the premise was appealing to me. I tried to watch it, I was like, this is garbage. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, you can't care about the characters or, like, like you can tell nothing is, like. He's OP and overpowered. He does everything in one so move. Yeah. Awesome. He's awesome. He's so lame. No, if you like SAO, it's fine. He is so lame. No character. I mean, Asuna, she's just there. That's all she is. She's just there. She's in the whole book series about When I was a kid, there was an MMO. There was a, yeah, it was an MMO isekai a decade before SAO. And it's not amazing, but it, it is way cool. The music was sick. The character designs are sick. And it's just... Of SAO or dot no, There was an original show, and it's just like not a lot of combat happens, and it's a lot of characters like like online role playing characters being like, "What, what do you think's going on with the server lately?" Like, I, I heard there's a virus that's killing players in real life. Like, that's the whole show for like forty episodes. But it's still better. Like, overload. It makes no sense. Like, the premise is legit a guy. It's kind of like a thing. But he gets in the game. It's the last thing in the game. And, like, the NPCs come to life. And, like, for some reason, like, he gets stuck in the game. It makes no sense to me at all. Yeah, and I think a lot of Easter cards are lazy. A lot of, like, modern shows just seem, like, stupid lazy. Like, not even trying. Like, do I still like Cowboy Bebop, or is that just, like, a normie answer? Cowboy like, Bebop slaps, though. It's not, yeah, it does. It does. It, it's yeah. very, it's not a creative or, like, original. But it's cool, know. like, the art and the style of character is really well written. Um, y'all should watch Paranoia Agent. It's only 12 episodes. I heard that's pretty good, too. It's, it's a 10 out of 10. Um... No, it's making else, bro. Oh, fully coolie. I've never heard of it. That's only four episodes. It will change your life. I've never heard of that. It's tight, dog. It's, a, it's tight. It's really and the music. Okay, actually, there's like a couple shows that I do recommend. Demon Slayer is actually really, really good. The art style is gorgeous. They just made a movie and it's actually. What, is it like the first? Uh, the top paid anime movie that's made in America. Oh, nice. Uh, my baby boomer mom went and saw that for some reason, so I'm a little concerned about her, but she said she liked it. Wait, Even though she, I don't know. She texted me, my little sister, I just saw this anime movie, Demon Slayer. And I was like, oh, oh. And I was like, cool. But she, she didn't watch the show or anything. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But it slaps, though. The anime's actually really good. I don't like my art at all. I think it's garbage. I can't get something about the R, the way the dude looks like an American superhero comic. Like I don't want that in my anime. That's yeah, actually exactly. a bummer. Exactly. Like I want my anime to be more Japanese. You know why is everyone yeah. watching? Because like their culture. I like how you watch their their culture, not because everyone's yeah. there. I don't like it's, it's the same thing three seasons in a row. Oh really? It's so boring. Like, the first season, like, oh, this is more interesting than the first, and you're like, oh, oh I'll have it again. Yeah, I don't want that sameness. I've heard One Piece is like epic because it's so huge; it goes on forever. But again, the art's a little iffy for me. I don't know if I like. It's like still in the 90s. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it's not updated at all. But even for the 90s, it didn't. It looked kind of goofy when I was a kid. I was like, I don't know if I can get it to a pirate. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. All right. That was a good digression. That was good, actually. We should probably do two. So, both of her here are perfect passes. So the underlying beat them S and Dr. Soon they are perfect tense. Passive voice refocus. Do y'all know how to use this poster? Because I'm concerned about you guys. 
taking this test. But like, remember, if you see your perfect, and I'll underline the whole, so I would like underline decs of s. And then yeah, if you're seeing a fourth integral part plus s, then it is perfect sense, and it is all, all of this. I understand the entire Yeah, right. right. No, yeah, it's it just of me pointing that out. Um, Riley, I want to hear what you have to say, but back row, I guess we're refocusing for a little longer. Uh, Riley, we're going to quiz tomorrow. No homework this week. We're going to take the quiz tomorrow, maybe a little more practice. And then Wednesday and Thursday, I'm going to do a Jeopardy that is meant to last two days. Because I don't have you guys Friday, since now field day is Friday. It was going to be Wednesday. So. All right, there's another one. This one's actually cool. This one's actually cool. All right, um, Chris Aries here, or Tristan, what do you think the subject of this one is here? That's the same person. I don't know. What's the most obvious thing? The subject of this sentence. You can't overthink it. Ask Brandon, no. No, look, she's overthinking, guys. Chris? Oh, everybody else said. She just said what I said. Yeah, I said what you said. He said what she said. Okay, let me try again. I said Fletcher. I said Blue. Yeah, guys, it's aqua. What, is, what does aqua mean? If you had to guess what aqua means, water. it's water. Okay. So some of us are still doing that thing where we're like, oh my gosh, that never makes sense. It's always like not what you think it would be. But sometimes, guys, your subject literally is just the first noun. All right, Ryland? It, so it might just be the actual first noun. But here, it's not just waters, which if it is a noun, it's nominal plural, it's not nominal singular. It's what kind of waters? Calares. Yeah, swift or fast waters. So these endings do not look similar, but they are in fact both nominative plural. Because calare, calaris is a third declension adjective. And so it gives us ES of modifying any kind of nominative plural, regardless of whether it's masculine or feminine. But apparently aqua is the of course it would be. So swift waters. Let's translate flux and roll before exclamation of this. Riley, can you all for real uh, for what is this like the last one? And I might not necessarily have that much after this. So, like, come on. Uh, swift waters, uh, fluxerant from fluo, flura, fluxy, fluctin. So, Brandy has answered this twice so far. Can someone, oh, wait, well, so this is active, though. But it is the same tense that Brandy has been ask, ask, asking about, meaning it's not perfect. That would just be fluxerant, the UNT, fluxerant. When you see that ERA, we should think of what kind of perfect, anyone other than Brandy? Not perfect passive, but further back, like more complete. Huh? Yeah, so what helping word do we use? Had. Duh. Yeah. Remember, guys, we translate perfect tense as just verb or has or have verb. I didn't know this until I started teaching English, but apparently in English we use the helping verb had to communicate that as something something is further back in, in time. Um, and um, yeah, you translate to perfect, it means more than complete. Perfectus in Latin means complete, not like perfect, but completed, a completed action, where pluperfect is more than completed, it's way back in the past. Like, oh, I have done that verb completely in the past, versus I had done that like three days ago. Um, and the imperfect is like incomplete. Like I started in the past, I might still be doing it. I was verbing, I might still be verbing. Anyways. Okay, so the swift waters had, and this one's awkward, but had flowed. Tell me whether that sounds incorrect, but like, that's what it is. I was want to say like flown or something, but flowed ex fluminibus. They flowed ex where? Ex is gonna huh? Down. Day can be translated as down. So day is some. Oh wait wait. So remember how? So it's day, ab, and x. Can all three be translated as? From. Okay, we have three froms in Latin, guys. Messed up. X is usually from a place. Ab is from, as in like you're separating something from something else. And then day is this other from that can almost be, it can be about sometimes. And it's used in French and Spanish as like of. But anyway, here it is just going to be from. So the swift waters had flowed from the fluminibus. 
Caden, what's the kind of body of water that does flow? River? So it had flowed from the rivers. So the first six words or so, there's not a single bit of good grammar in that. That's all old, straightforward grammar. The subject from a prep dog. Um, the subjects had verb from this prepositional phrase. And Kumari, what's that? What's that? Anyone at all? Out loud. So maybe Brandy and Hannah should not. Should, should foresee the rest of the class to mention questions of their own volition today. What's Kumari? What does Kuhn mean? Uh, get your foot off the table. Julie, Piper, Sophia, Lily, what does Kuhn mean? With? And what is the mare? So whereas Flumen is a flowing body of river, mare is a word for the largest bodies of water we have on the planet. Yeah, so and with the, with the ocean, or with the sea, and not any kind of sea, but the Inginti mare. Does anybody remember Inginti Inginti? Yeah, with the huge sea, Mixed high errant. It's another blue perfect passive. Had not had mixed, had been mixed. Yeah. Um, so perfect passive we can translate as like was or were verbed. But for blue perfect passive and future perfect passive, you need a whopping two or three helping verbs. For blue perfect, it would be had been verb. So you need to think of that boy's name, or like it can be a name of a guy, yeah. then plus the helping verb had. Because if you say like had mixed, that's still active at that point. Like I had verb, the direct object, actively, versus I had been verb, um, passively. And then for future perfect passive, which like never happens, you need will, have, and been. It's crazy, I will have been verb, you will, but it's super rare, it like never happens. Um, so we, we like normal perfect passive, where you can just use was or were, and just move on with your life. You can use has or have been, but most people don't. So if I take this one, I would underline this word. The tense is pluperfect, the voice is passive. And now excuse me while I throw up. Oh wait, no, it's coming back up. It's just all day, it's down and up, it's down and up. It's, right? it's bipolar. Um, I know that's what all my students are trying to like calm down, you moron. This is how stocks work. I think kids are better at trading than I am. Yeah. Um, y'all yeah. have now the capacity for patience in a way that I don't. I've lost yeah. that. Um, I don't know how to trade <laughs> Well, that's something. That's something. <laughs> you know, I used to trade <laughs> Neopet coin back in the day. No, Neopet. Why yep. they yep. Yeah. Yeah. And and little pet shops. Oh, yeah. Did anybody get Resident Evil Village this week? <laughs> Yo, she played the Demiscus. Oh, she did. Uh, I know everyone is memeing about her. I did, was not able to play it. I think form is kind of terrible. I hope she comes to Dead by Daylight. Like Resident Evil, she's, uh, you know, crossover with Dead by Daylight. And, uh, uh, and I hope, because, like, he just wants to be jokes. Like, <laughs> you know, the, the my Mitch character Mitch. is not going to be jokes. The Mitch, <laughs> the Mitch Rex. I can't even say her name. <laughs> it's like Demetrius Demetrius anyway well four like starts in a village and so yeah it's definitely kind of like a throwback to that but there's lichen I'll play it oh yeah yeah I saw that. Yeah, yeah, I watched some I watch some Let's Play. I like the idea that you have a character and like the most messed up thing can happen to him and you can just walk away from him. He's like, he shot up! And he still doesn't care. Mia, like, you know, me from the last game, he chooses the Mia route. And like, in the first, like, five minutes game, she gets shot up by the same guy who, like, kind of saved Does she die? She gets, yeah, she gets, she's, she's like, you destroyed. Please. But like, nobody dies. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, no one seems to die around the people. I love how you could get bitten by the zombies multiple times and never get infected. That's true, that's true. Oh well, I guess you just like die. If you're like, oh, know. You don't go to Resident Evil for realism, you know what I'm saying? No one's like, no, no, it's like some people think everything's supposed to be realistic. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, it doesn't get a bandage over. I'll like play it, it, but you know, I have, I have it near. I have Battle in Wonderland. Uh, so I'll be just fine. Yeah, All right, which argumenta? Argument? What kind of argument? Do you have any guess what? Huh? Uh, I guess you're thinking of Calare Polaris. Oh, yeah, the one that looks like a character. Yeah, Liam, if you have any guess what character's character to character means, what would you guess? Fairly yeah. certain. And yes. Which certain argument? And then I see a bunch of nonsense that I'm not ready for. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Okay, para to er from pero perare. So which certain argument not actively prepares, but anyone? But it, it's not even play perfect passive. It'd be Iran. So what? Has, but you need a, a dude's name. Has been prepared or just was prepared. See, when it's called perfect passive, not good perfect. You can just use what the word. But I guess here, I, I personally use not have been. Yeah, don't forget the then. I guess something about that we've been interested. It's like necessary for perfect and. Well, it, when you're using that we has, have, or had, you're using was a word you don't need been. You don't say he was been. Or, okay, which certain argument has been prepared? Let's go back up to the middle part where I freaked out and I just skipped over. By the. Eudicabus by the judges contra against Ista Scalera Gravia. And those are some newer words. Is it going to be those or these grave sins? Hmm? It's going to be those. Remember, uh, Ista is the same as Illa. So that, that and those verses take my cost. So which certain arguments has been prepared by judges against those grave evil deeds? Scala Scalaris can be sin, or like wickedness, or evil deeds. And it kind of sounds like an evil word, you know, scalus, like skeletal. I don't, they're not related. But. So we have an ablative of agent in the form of the judges. You know, which, which subject has been verbed, perfect tense, passive verb, by the ablative of agent uh, against, and contra takes accusatives. So it's just sclera gravia are all plural neuter accusatives. If I pick this one, you would tell me the tense of parata errant is perfect and the voice is passive. Voice is passive. Are we seeing a pattern? So all the ones you've seen so far are perfect passive or blue perfect passive. So the only way you guys are allowed to mess up is basically telling you that something is perfect when it's blue perfect, or if it's blue perfect when it's perfect. But this chart, no, not this chart, this chart should make it clear. Because I see a fourth level part plus a root. Where do I see that word? I said, oh, it's not soup. It's a root. And oh my gosh, this is actually future perfect. This is actually future perfect. So I won't be picking this one, but that would be, sorry, I'll have to make a correction, will have been prepared. So I said you'll like never see future perfect passive, but technically you will. Wait, so or like you can. Like huh? It is. There really isn't. It's a perfect anime. Um, well, that's why you watch End of Evangelion. But at least it's more narrative, and you get to see the amazing Asuka fight against the dummy plugs. Um, but no, I actually like that the ending is abstracted. It's pretty weird. Like, it's cool and all. It's just really weird. It's not really like. I think I like it more than a clear-cut ending. I don't know what it is, but like I have multiple friends, so like NGE just like, it, especially around the year 2014, revisiting NGE in 2014 was a mood, y'all. Um, and it was like, like I first saw it when I was y'all's age, and I was like, that was really good. And I was cool that all my friends, because like they didn't see it. I like pirated it. Unit 1 is so, like all the units look so cool. Right. Except Unit 0, I don't know. I don't, somebody put me off the I think Unit Zero is not supposed to, but yeah, like Unit Unit well, One. So, is that well, the purple you find one? Out he's actually a uh, like a giant. A, a, yeah, an angel. Like, it's like a creepy. It's like so cool. Like he's yeah. eating. And it's like in binding. Yeah, it's just like he gets on all fours so and it's like eating. You guys, check out NGE. The yeah, Netflix stuff is so it's fine. Um, it's Neon Genesis Avon Belly. Awesome. But then Case Closed slash Detective Conan is my comfort food anime. Because I just want to watch a dude trapped in the body of a seven-year-old who's like a prodigious detective solve grisly murders. Like that, I, I like crime drama. So an anime crime drama is actually... It's not much so, of a car there. 
No, like there's probably more than that. It's like a goofy show, but it's gone on for hundreds of episodes in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> um, wasn't that second one? I didn't like that second one. Yeah, you didn't like the second one. Was the last one. So how about just the one we covered so far and not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like number two, y'all. So three, four, and five. Y'all need to know three, four, and five. Backwards, forwards, sideways, across. Yeah, yeah. This one, unless whose family? Our family. Not actively free something, not present passive, make it past him. Yeah, was or has been freed. Unless our family has been freed, nothing will destroy us. No, this is Delecto Delectare. Wait till, wait till Landon's little sister hears about how bad he was alive. I'm like, Avery, I gotta, I hate to break it to you. But Landon had his worst day. In this whole year, um, you know, Avery's on chapter twenty-five of the textbook. <laughs> so, just putting that out there, Landon, you're over here talking oh about God. you're talking about <laughs> Neon Genesis back there. R Rylan, what's your far and away favorite anime? Oh, my favorite anime. Well, if they do this correctly, you know, manga calls can only be communicate when they're animating it. So, so yeah, if you do that correctly, I'll be my favorite. Anime. So but they they're gonna mess something up. You know who they are. Yeah. Right now it's Money Bills. That's such a Money Bills. My cousin likes that anime. I don't know anything about it, but that it's, title. It's, the title is definitely not like I mean, all the way more. No, this is like probably one of the like games. And then probably the most that gets probably the Rising of Shield here. Actually, the Rising of Shield here. It's a guy. Actually, they build up these guys. Instead of they're like, oh, he's like this big man, he does everything correctly. He actually gets accused for rape. And actually, at the restart, it's like, no, wait, what? It's really good. Oh, wait, I think I've heard of that. That does actually sound kind of Yeah, it's called the Shield Hero. Like, it's really good. Like, they turn him into trash. Everyone's going to enjoy your video. It's so cool. Because they're going to hear this. It's okay. Well, it's just. I guess Josie watches it and, and Michael. And, 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 and like, only the Marvel is wrong. Okay. Talk about a comic get killed. Because I've heard about the end. Yeah, he kind of does not have to be bad. Like, yeah. Um, I know. All right. Nothing will delight us. Nothing will delight us would be this last part here. And you know what? Um... <laughs> That's Latin, <laughs> you know. That's really that's Latin. Um, that's a language. <laughs> there it is. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. What? Do you find more terrifying of the people chasing Mr. X and Mr. Lady? I haven't experienced enough of either. Is Mr. X in three? Mr. X is in two. Oh, he's pretty scary. He's the one with Dora, and then for some reason, when he takes on the jacket, he turns into Dora. <laughs> um, Mr. X is pretty scary. I haven't experienced him at the The last one was like a dragon. Like, yeah, right. Our last one was like the mix, mix of a demi dog and his wings. And a woman with ten tools. Okay, Mr. X is pretty scary. 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 The fun part is you can shoot her out of the sky and just walk her the ground. That's kind of fun. <laughs>